Hey there, how's it going? I'm Exof, and it's a little late, but I would like to talk a little about my leak starter for the Path of Exile Crucible League. And the build that I've picked for this league is Wave of Conviction Ignite Elementalist, which is quite a mouthful to say, to be honest. Ignite Elementalist is something that I've played a few times in the past in uh, Softcore Trade, in solo cell file and in some races and i'm quite happy with how the progress works for this character this build so yeah i picked this as my comeback build after taking a one year hiatus the only difference with the previous builds that i've played is that i'm now using wave of conviction which is something that, that i've not tried before something new for a league start i guess i leveled with Armageddon brand with cremation, which is pretty much the typical uh, campaign build until I'm able to go to the fire mastery and get, sorry, not here, this one, uh, the conversion for fire damage. I initially got the regen first because this helps a lot during campaign. After I got this mastery, I changed to wave of conviction fully. And then, yeah, I reached Kitava, and before I killed Kitava, did all of my labs, and did some heists to get some currency to get started. And my first things that I've bought is a six link, uh, an obliteration, and an eye of malice. Then the rest of it are just resistance gears. And I also bought two jewels, which is this. Blowback and Fan of Flames. Uh, Boat Blowback gives me. Sorry, it doesn't show here, but. Oh, it shows here. Never mind. Uh, extra damage. And then this one is uh, Spread. So that I could drop Ignite Proliferation really, really quickly. And then I got another one that has Brush with Death, which helps with my sustain and helps me run no regen maps and Wasting Affliction, which is damage again. The jewels cost quite a bit during the start of the league. Uh, I think it's around 100 chaos each. So yeah, pretty costly there. And they are, they are very cheap now, but whatever. <laughs> so what I liked about this build is, well, as I mentioned, the scaling is something very comfortable. You just mainly scale with gem levels and you don't really have to do a lot of upgrades when you go through the atlas as long as you are not farming crazy content. Uh, the explode on the obliteration helps a lot during clear because the explode is going to ignite anyways due to elementalists. And uh, otherwise, I just have to go and buy a plus one gem it is uh, 50 chaos, I think, on the third day. And then I got a plus two tabla replacing this. And uh, a plus one amulet. The nice thing, this league, I'm not sure if it if this exists, the previous league, to be honest, but uh, we could get this mastery, which gives me 15% life if I wear an armor with no life modifiers, which... Well, Tabla Rasa fits the bill. Uh, this incentivizes players to use Tabla more, I feel. But yeah, I could do most of the map mods so I don't have to worry about wasting my resources on rerolling maps or having to throw away, map, throw away maps until I reach uh, raid maps where avoid elemental ailments goes up to 70%. And that becomes a huge problem if the enemy has high resistances as well. Because that means that there's a high chance that I would get killed by them before I manage to ignite them. And when it comes as I mentioned, when it comes to maps like no leech, no regen, those are not a problem. Because I have brush with death, and because I'm using Eldritch battery. Generally, I will just rely on the energy shield recharge and I will be fine. Otherwise, uh, I think that is most of it. 
I managed to go through my whites, my yellows, and when it comes to reds is where I started to struggle. That's when I bought my plus one, plus two, and this Ming's heart to help a bit with my damage. But I have to be a lot a lot more careful with map mods because I relied on determination as well. If I went into a map with minus armor, I definitely feel it. My health goes down really, really quickly and it becomes really sketchy. Uh, so, well, I'm already into the ter territory of talking about what I didn't like about this build. So, I mentioned that Ignite Elementalist was comfortable for me, but emphasis on was, because I did not realize that now monsters would have modifiers that says ignite resistance so ignite resistance seems to be a huge 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 counter for uh ignite ignite builds well duh but it pretty much disables my build i feel because it comes with 80 percent less ignite duration and if anyone uses swift affliction which i believe everyone does you do not have any ignite duration uh, on your ignite. Well, sure, you would have some uh, passives or some other stats that increases your ignite duration. I think, yeah, this, nope, this one is damage. Yeah, this one increases my duration. So that helps a little, but at the same time, as I mentioned, I have stuff like this, which makes my ignite shorter because it deals damage faster so ignites are very very short against mon those monsters and then they directly counter eye of malice as well due to how high their resistances can be sometimes it feels like together with mad mods like avoid sorry not avoid uh players cannot inflict exposure and uh plus rest to monsters they can have a lot higher resistances compared to pinnacle bosses so that becomes a problem with this build and every time i see them i would probably die because elementalist doesn't come with speed so i'm not running away from them this is how f this is like the fastest i can go so most of the time i may die unless i got really lucky with the jukes the terrain allows me to just juke the monster around then yeah maybe i will survive but mostly i'm dead <laughs> so yeah when it comes to casting wave of conviction it takes 0 0.6 seconds i have this habit of uh, playing where I would dive into a pack of monsters and then try to kill them. It doesn't seem to work that well with this build because every time you dump in and you take more than half a second to cast your skill, monsters has a wind up a lot less than half a second. So they'll hit me and they'll stun me due to how low my life is and I'm dead. <laughs> so I wanted to up my defense and um, traditionally elementalist relies on skin of the loyal skin of the lords for defenses skin of the lords mainly because of the 100 percent increased global defenses so like i have uh i have like 6.9k armor 13k with pot i could go a lot higher if i have skin of the lords and that is one of the main upgrade i wanted to go for but GGG patched breach and made the drop rate so low that it costs 15 divines to buy one that is usable. So I'm not spending 15 divines to make my build playable. Wait, I mean, I'm not spending 15 divines on my league starter to make it playable, right? I mean, if it's something like an aura stacker, 15 divines is nothing, right? But this is a league starter and I'm not spending that much on that on this character. So I just stop and stop upgrading everything. This is what I have. I could improve the cast rate 
issue with my singularity that I tried out, it lowers it to, well, from lowers it by 0.09 seconds a little bit faster, but you lose out too much on the clear speed that I feel that it's not worth it, especially when the explosion is going to help with tankier monsters when the whole pack explodes. So I kept with obliteration all the way. So when I realized that I, could, I couldn't really progress anymore in raid maps, I couldn't go into uh, 8 mod maps, I couldn't do uh, map content in raid maps, I decided to fall back all the way to back to white maps and I just farm essence all the way. I decided that on my third day, which is the end of my uh, break, my work break, I have to go back to work during the weekdays. So I just come home, play for two hours, three hours, just farming essence all the way and just keep stocking up on my currency. I didn't really earn a lot. At the end of the week, I have around 20 something divines, I think. And yeah, that's it. Then that's where I decided to reroll. But that is the story for another video, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, that is all it, there is to say about my league starter. It worked fine. It got me off the ground. I just wish it is better. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.